a very simple problem here. Limit 10 tends to infinity 1 by 1 into 2, 1 plus 1 by 2 into 3, 1 by 3 into 4, etc, etc, 1 by n into n plus 1. Right. Now, here itself there is a hint. We have 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, etc. 3 minus 3 is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 4 is 1, n plus 1 minus n is equal to 1. This is called a telescoping series. Right. Basically, we can break this. Right. 1 by 1 into 2, we can break it as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2. Basically, 1 minus 1 by 2. This one, 1 by 2 into 3, we can break it as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. Because the denominator water will become 3 into 2. Numerator will become 3 minus 2. Right. 3 minus 2 by 3 into 2. 4 minus 3 by 4 into 3. 5 minus 4 by 5 into 4. Similarly, n plus 1 minus n by n into n plus 1. Right. Now, if you look at this, what does this, what does this mean? These all things will get cancelled. Minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, etc, etc. Every second term in this one, the pre, the first term will get cancelled with the second term of the previous sum. Right. So, what will be left? Everything will be cancelled. We will be left with the very first one and the very last one, which is what? 1 minus 1 by n plus 1. Now, we want n tends to infinity. Obviously, this will tend to 0. 1 is anyway 1. So, the correct answer is 1. Right. Basically, what we are saying, this summation of this, the summation of this, 1 by 1 into 2, plus 1 by 2 into 3, plus 1 by 3 into 4, etc, etc, etc. The summation of this is actually equal to 1. Basically, this is another way of representing 1. Right. For example, 2 we can represent as 1 plus half plus half square plus half cube, etc, etc. Right. Because a by 1 minus r, right. This is a geometric series, right. Uh, the common ratio is r and uh, infinite geometric series. What is the, what is the sum? 1 by 1 minus r. Right. 1 by half, which is equal to 2. So, 2 we can represent it like this. Right. Like the sum of some infinite series. Similarly, this one also, we can, this one, 1 also we can represent it like this. Basically, the sum of this up to infinite times, up to infinite times is actually equal to 1. Right, guys? Thank you.